today we did the three parts of our arc, so the beetle, beetle, and then the grape. So we kind of combined what we did yesterday, but added an extra beetle and being able to take control not only when you're doing the arc, but also before the arc as well. On that run, were you doing the whole the whole lot of these things? Were you was it your intention to do the whole sequence? It was my intention to do the whole sequence. Uh, I found it quite difficult though. I found it I found it finding the one beetle on the other, yeah. uh, and the grape, one beetle and then grape. But I found when I was trying to do the other beetle, I kept getting my feet mixed up. Sinking onto the beetle, you mean? So the beetle yeah. weight beetle. Yeah. It's the second beetle beat, if you like. Yeah. It was getting difficult. Beast. Yeah. Yeah, and you were getting your feet mixed up and attempting to almost crossing your skis and all yeah. feeling wobbly. Okay, well, yeah. there's, a, there's a good reason for that. Don't beat yourself up over that. Yeah. Um, the, the biggest reason for that is the snow conditions. Uh -huh. And the fact that in order to put in lots of arcs, you were doing quite a lot of relatively short radius arcs. Mm -hmm. So you're going very slowly mm. and putting in a lot of arcs. What really would be the way that you, one would normally want to ski snow in this condition mm. would be a much bigger radius arc. Mm -hmm. So you're getting nearer and nearer to a straight line, the bigger the arc gets. Mm -hmm. And that adds speed. And with that speed, it would have been a great deal easier. So, so that's the reason for yeah. it. When you stopped before, we were talking about the fact that you were doing a sort of two-step movement. Yeah. As you extended this leg, you mm -hmm. were also sticking it out there, mm -hmm. and then you were doing that. Mm -hmm. Sticking that out, and then doing that. Mm -hmm. With respect to that, on this part of the run, yeah. what did you notice? Anything at all? I mean, the good answer might be I didn't notice anything, but... I noticed that I was doing it less. That'll do. I thought that on the leg you were extending, mm -hmm. you weren't stepping it out at all. Mm -hmm but you were stepping in mm -hmm. on the second part of yeah. the arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were yeah. stepping it in. And the reason for that is yeah. what I was talking about just now, which is a very heavy snow, very difficult. It is difficult skiing. Yeah. And it, the instability and the shortness of the radii. Yeah, yeah. So it's those sort of issues that have affected what's happened this afternoon. And it doesn't matter. All of it is learning. And you affected much of the change you were looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. by being aware mm -hmm. the next thing to be aware of then is to make my arcs bigger if i made my arcs in bigger snow, in, this in, condition, in condition in snow conditions like this yeah. you would want to and just mm -hmm. let the skis go um slightly faster, faster. Mm -hmm. you make you just make fewer arcs yeah the important thing is that you knew what you intended to do and you did it and you noticed that's the bit that matters you noticed mm -hmm. that this is different. I'm not doing it both. I'm not doing it all the time, and I'm not doing it with both feet. So that's 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 all I care about, really. If you get if you get to really understand mm -hmm. and to yeah, really yeah. notice what's going on, I'll be redundant before you know it. I'll be out of work. <laughs> I think it was um, quite a lot to take in and a lot to kind of process as I was going through. I don't think I have perfected it just yet. But as I was going down, I was able to be aware of each of those different things. And actually, I think probably for me, that's the most important thing. So I think there's still some practice to go before I perfect it. Um, but I can see how I should be doing and how I should be doing it. <laughs>